Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to talk about Fujifilm's XRAW Studio and how you can edit your photos on the app. Now before you get started, a few things that you'll need is your camera. For this video, I'll be using my Fujifilm X106. You're also going to need a connection from your camera to your computer. So whether that's a USB-C connection or a USB, you're then going to want a RAW file in your computer that you want to edit. And make sure that RAW file is actually taken by your Fujifilm camera. And lastly, of course, you're going to need the app installed on your computer. So let's get into it. I'll just quickly walk you through how you can get the software installed. What you want to do is just type in Google X Raw Studio, click on the first link, and there should be a download button for your device. I click on that. You can see the compatibility chart for your camera and the software and for your type of PC that you're using. So you can scroll down and I'm on my Mac, so I can find that button for that install somewhere right here. Just agree to that and press download. All right, and now that you have that installed, just load it up. I already have mine ready, and I'll just quickly walk you through what you see here. Let's make that a little bit smaller. So on the left side, you'll have a kind of prompt that says it's waiting for your camera to connect. So actually, before you can start plugging in your camera to your computer, what you want to do is actually change a setting in the network and USB settings menu here. Find the connection mode menu. You're going to want to click into it. By default, it might already be on USB card reader. What we want to do is set it to the USB raw conversion slash backup restore and press OK. Now, after you've done that, you can plug your camera to your computer and it should work fine. Now, after you're done editing your photo with your camera and the app, what you want to do is set this back to USB card reader if that's how you like to connect your camera to any devices that you have. So if you haven't already, you want to connect your camera using your cable, then you want to turn it on. So this software only really works is if you power on your Fujifilm camera to your computer so that the software can act as a bridge to your camera and to the file that you want to edit. Basically, this software is just a interface for you to use your camera settings to edit your, your photos. Then on the left side, you'll see a folder structure where you can navigate to where you store your raw files that you want to edit. So I have mine right here under X106 in my pictures. Once you've navigated to that folder, it will automatically show you a table of all the photos you have ready to edit, all the raw files you have stored there. So I have one of my fiance right here that I have stored for this video. At the bottom, you'll kind of see the histogram, some metadata information from there. So why don't I go ahead and connect my camera to my computer so I can unlock some more of these features. I'm gonna power on my camera. You can see on the top left that the software has recognized that my camera is on and I can start using the software to edit my photo. So on the top left of the middle panel, you can see the before and after button. So I'm just gonna click that so I can see what I've done in my edits. So now I want you to focus your attention on the right side of the app here. You'll see that right now it's checked at the current conversion profile. This just means that if I were to press convert right now, it'll take the raw file and process the image into a JPEG inputting all of these settings that are currently there. If you've previously set your camera to shoot in RAW plus fine, you'll notice that these are the JPEG settings that you've probably taken your photo with. Now what you'll also notice is that in the middle of the panel here, you'll see some of the custom profiles that match exactly what you have in your camera. So in my X106, I'm allowed seven profiles and you can see the custom profiles that I've set up here. And if I actually click into one, it'll set those profiles into the current raw image that I'm editing. So for example, if I wanna choose the Eterna custom profile that I've set here, you can see on the right, it adjusted it to those settings and you can actually see the settings change on the right side of the panel here. Now you can actually save custom recipes in the XRAW Studio app. I've set one up here called Summer Recipe. So if I press on that one, you can see it'll adjust it up here. And if you want to just see what the condition was like when you shot the photo, you can press that up here and you can see the settings up here. Now for the fun part, you can start editing your photos using your Fujifilm camera. So again, 
This app is actually just a bridge to your camera and you're actually using your camera's processing power to make these edits. I think Fujifilm wants to keep everything proprietary and within the camera and not want to have anything exposed within the app. This is a good way to actually retain that Fujifilm look in your photos if you want to do any post-processing to your images. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to show you guys how I'll edit this photo just to see what it would look like with a different style. So why don't I start off with changing the film simulation to a black and white. I'm already liking that, but I can see that it's a little too green for my liking, so I might change the white balance shift. And maybe go a bit into the reds here. Maybe higher up into the indigos, and that looks good to me. And maybe I want to add some more grain just to give it more of that film look. So maybe I'll turn that on to strong and we'll do a large grain here. So once I'm satisfied with this edit, I can actually save this recipe that I have here. So why don't I do that right now? I'll call this um, black and white and I'll press okay. So now you see the recipe saved at the top right. If you have another photo to edit and you wanna use the same black and white recipe that you've saved before or any other recipe, you can easily choose that and it'll apply the changes. Now from here, you can press the convert button on the bottom right. And what'll happen is it'll do its thing and it'll save a JPEG version of that within the same folder as you've navigated to in your folder structure here. So let's give that a few moments to finalize. Okay, so now the photo has been processed. Let me just shrink this down. And now you can see at the bottom left that the JPEG conversion has been processed and you can see that here. Notice that when I click onto the JPEG version, I can no longer change these settings on the right. It would only work when you have a raw file selected. And the nice thing is that you retain this raw file. So if you ever want to make a different edit, you can always go back and make different versions. And so yeah, this is it. This is the little tutorial on Fujifilm's X Raw Studio. If you like what you saw, please like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, leave a comment below and telling me uh, anything that you'd like to see. And thank you.